The universe's imagination always remains wider than our human imagination. Humans exist in a universe so vast that to explore it completely is merely a fairy tale. We've been on a quest to hunt things beyond the observable universe. In this video, we present to you five theories that are beyond the universe we have seen and known. So, without further ado, let us immerse ourselves in the five theories that you would never want to miss out on. Hubble Volume Let us start with theory number one, Hubble Volume. Just like everything else in physics, our universe exists at the lowest possible energy. Let us go back in time, to a time before history was born. The universe was discovered to be resting at about 10 raised to the power of minus 36 seconds after the Big Bang. This was termed false vacuum energy. The universe had then expanded by a factor of 10 raised to the power of 50 in a fraction of a second. Isn't that astounding? The fact is that our universe has never rested since then and has continued to expand, but at a slower rate. The light that gets emitted from faraway objects is evidence of the universe's expansion. The expansion of the universe results in the loss of energy and photons that are emitted by a star or galaxy. What happens is that when these photons reach us, their wavelengths will have been redshifted in proportion to the distance traveled. Now, this is why cosmologists describe redshifts as a function, not only of space, but also of time. Redshifted lights help us to see objects such as galaxies. This is because they existed in the distant past, whereas it does not allow us to see all of the events that have occurred in the universe's past. In fact, the light of certain objects is too far away for us to see and the physics of their boundaries are dependent on a region of surrounding space-time. This is known as the Hubble volume. The Hubble volume is defined by measuring the Hubble parameter. What do you think the Hubble parameter is? It's a value that relates the apparent recession speed of faraway objects to their redshift. It was in 1929 when iconic astronomer Edwin Hubble discovered that distant galaxies appeared to be moving away from us at a rate proportional to the redshift of their light. He then derived the Hubble volume. Want to know how? He did this by dividing the speed of light by the Hubble parameter. Dark Flow Theory Scientists have discovered that there is an external force pulling on objects in the universe. This implies that there must be something outside the universe that exerts the force. Isn't that intriguing? The dark flow is a recent phenomenon, and have you ever thought that if everything originated from a point in the Big Bang and then expanded to form our universe, the one we know today? In 1973, a cosmological anomaly was discovered well, this phenomenon is known as the Great Attractor, and it's a massive concentration of the mass which was estimated to be about 250 million light years away. The location is quite close to the constellations Hydra and Centaurus. It's reported to have tens of thousands of massive galaxies about the size of the Milky Way. Surprisingly, its gravitational force is strong enough to affect other galaxies and galaxy clusters over a few hundred light years. In the year 2008, there was a discovery that changed astronomical boundaries. Let's get to it. During a three-year survey, the Wilkinson Microwave and Isotropy Probe came across a large group of clusters that appeared to be moving at speeds of up to 600 miles per second in the same direction. Don't worry, as this is literally out of our world. Well, all of them were aiming for a small patch of sky between the constellations Centaurus and Villa. Scientists call the phenomenon the Dark Flow. Infinite Bubbles Scientists have attempted to use the theory of the quantum foam or the infinite bubbles theory to explain how the cosmos is structured. It can also prove that there are a plethora of universes out there apart from our own. I mean, this could be the gateway to the multiverse. Sometimes we think that we're alone in the universe, and sometimes we think we're not. In either case, the idea is quite staggering. How does that sound? Maybe space-time is not the trampoline-like plane scientists have imagined it to be. Rather, it could be a foamy mess of bubbles containing several universes. Physicist John Wheeler once proposed the idea that at the quantum level, space-time is foamy and consists of constantly changing tiny bubbles. Well, isn't that mysterious? According to the idea that space-time is foamy, 
every point in space-time has a massive amount of vacuum energy, which is predicted by quantum theory. What is interesting is that it behaves differently than other points. Every point in space-time becomes a microcyclic universe that revolves indefinitely from singularity to the Big Bang and ends up collapsing. Each bubble has its timeline. This is because they are their universes and time functions differently within these bubbles. It does sound as if it's from a science fiction novel, don't you think so? Due to a concept called entropy, the direction of time is not needed to explain the quantum world. It might sound ecstatic, but you might experience time backward. Or maybe not at all. If you were a subatomic piece of dark matter which was trapped in a space-time foam, it does sound solitary. Black holes. From here, things get a bit biological. This is because we are applying the law of natural selection to the cosmos. Second universes, or fertile universes, is a multiverse theory that was proposed by American theoretical physicist Lee Smolin. This is also known as cosmological natural selection theory, or CNS theory. The mastermind behind this says that the emergence of a new universe on the other side of a collapsing black hole is what causes the fundamental constant parameters. This theory incorporates a number of evolutionary concepts which include universe reproduction and mutation. The error that lies here is that it lacks a direct analog of natural selection. This theory expresses the universe as more of a family tree. Though this theory involves the reproduction of universes, it also says that universes can die before reproducing successfully. Well, this shows that the universe is no different from any biological being who can die without having any offspring. This theory can reveal a multitude of things including why the fundamental constants of physics are very conducive to life. Infinite Parallel Universes From sci-fi movies to even actual scientific theories, parallel universes have come quite a long way, don't you think so? A whole lot of researchers working on universe models believe that the universe's diameter could be approximately 7 billion light years. There are others who believe that it could be infinite. If you look about 13.7 billion years back, the universe was an infinitesimal singularity. The Big Bang Theory has it that the singularity exploded and then expanded faster than the speed of light in all directions for a fraction of a second. That's a side humanity hasn't ever laid its eyes on. When it comes to inflation, the fact is that when it reaches a certain point, a new bubble universe emerges. What is an eye-opener is that these bubble universes are unable to communicate with each other. Don't you want to know? Don't you want to know why? This is because they continue to expand indefinitely. These theories bring you the idea that there are a plethora of universes present among us. These theories also open up a portal that proposes the chance that among these universes there is another you living another life. Parallel universes might be the next thing of the future. And it's just a matter of time before you meet yourself. What do you think? Do you find it to be exciting or frightening? These theories have been beyond the observable universe, and some of them even open up doors toward new universes. These theories discuss ideas that are mind-blowing and are possibly theoretical. When science pounces against knowledge, it might reveal scientific mysteries and even open up new doors and opportunities. These theories imply that we are not alone. Well, what do you think about these theories? Do you find these theories to be quite elusive? We've reached the end of this video and it's time for us to wrap up. Hope you all enjoyed this video and we'll meet you all again in another video. Until then, goodbye fellas.